We have a breakup and a shakeup to tell you about tonight, and it's causing more upheaval for the Washington Commanders. The Commanders flagship radio network Team 980 announced its partnership with the NFL team is over. But the question tonight is who really called it off first? Chief investigative reporter Eric Flack has been all over this story today, and Flack, a lot of finger pointing between these two sides. There was, Shala. Do you remember back in high school when kids would break up and both sides would say they dumped the other person and nobody knew who was telling the truth? Well, the commanders and its longtime flagship radio station tried to control the narrative today after Team 980 broke the news they would not be carrying games anymore. They did it in a cryptically worded statement on live radio, and it's a statement the commanders did not appreciate. So uh, I've got a, a, an announcement to make, and um, the announcement is this. The Washington commanders games will not be on the Team 980 or any Odyssey stations during the 2022 season. Team 980 Sports Talk host Kevin Sheehan made the announcement on his radio show Wednesday morning. The Washington Commanders are parting ways with its flagship radio networks, Team 980 and 106.7 The Fan. Team 980 is the longtime home of the Commanders' game day and play-by-play -play broadcasts. Sheehan telling listeners the station's owners, Odyssey and the Commanders, quote, disagreed on the value of the broadcasts. But Sheehan went further, suggesting the relationship between the commanders and Team 980 limited show hosts' ability to provide, quote, objective information and analysis about the commanders. Well, and it was important for us to continue to be able to provide um, what we provide on our talk shows, which is honest, objective analysis. Uh, about the team that did not seem to sit well with the commanders a source within the organization telling me quote these comments from Odyssey and Kevin Sheehan misrepresent both the process and the commander's decision to select a new radio partner the commanders also released a wider statement which said it opened bids for its radio broadcast agreement last fall and that team 980 quote submitted multiple partnership proposals Based on the evaluation process, the statement continued, we selected a new partner who will bring a significantly larger deal as well as new creativity and broader reach and scale to programming. We shared with Odyssey last week that we would not be moving forward as partners. The commanders have not announced who its new radio partner will be. News of the shakeup comes five days after Anheuser-Busch cut ties with the commanders, announcing it decided to end its beer sponsorship agreement with the team. So the question now becomes, where will you find Commander's Games on the radio next season? That remains unclear, as does what all this means for Commander's Games simulcasts carried on two stations owned by a different company, Cumulus Media. We emailed the program director for one of those two stations, 105.9 FM. We have not heard back. We will let you know when we do. So team got a new name but still the same old <laughs> drama doesn't end for them does it you said my it my goodness all right thank you flack